So you want to start drifting on a set of Corsa. Well, this is a full mod install guide for everything you need to start drifting in a set of Corsa. First thing you need is you need the game. So we do that by going to Steam. So we're in Steam here. I've already got the game, but you can go to the store page inside Steam, which is here, buy the game, download it. After you've done that, it'll show up here and you can press play, but we're never going to load it up through Steam ever again. What we're going to do is we're going to download a program called Content Manager. All the links are in the description, completely free program. So if we go to this website, this is a Content Manager website. The link is in the description. We're going to go down and we're just going to go down to the bottom. And then there'll be a section where you can download it right there. Download Content Manager, download light version, download it. You download it, download a program just like that. Click it, it'll open up the program right here. This is the program you need. So it's not going to install it. It's a standalone EXE file that will run Content Manager. So what we do is we just copy it, put it to the desktop. I've already got it on my desktop right there. You can put it wherever you want and then create a shortcut to your desktop. But that's what we're going to do after you've done that. Anytime you want to play the game, anytime you want to play a set of course, so we just double click content manager, it will load it up right here like this. So after that, we're going to install custom shaders patch. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to custom shaders patch. It will take you to a page like this. And then all we're going to do is press install. When you press install, it'll install it for you. After you've installed it, it will come up and say this custom shaders patch. It's all like that. You can see all the things on the left hand side. All of these have different things that you can adjust in them. Everyone's different. Everyone has different settings that they use. You can't use mine because I don't have them set up anywhere, but you can find people's online that have their settings set up. But it should you should just be able to use it perfectly fine and standard as it comes out of the box. So the next step is installing Soul. We're going to do that by going to racedepartment.com. Then you're going to create an account. The reason you create an account is because you can't download anything from Race Department without creating an account. So creating an account is completely free. Then we're going to press this big green button here that says download. After you've downloaded it, you can open it up inside 7-Zip. If you don't have 7-Zip, you can go to their website and download it. It's completely free. So inside here, we've got everything you need, install guide. But all we're going to do is go into this folder. Then we're going to have one, two, three, four. And we're just going to copy those into your set of Corsa root folder. If you don't know where that is, then we can just go to your Steam, go to a set of Corsa in your library, right click it, go to manage, browse local files, and it will bring up a folder just like this. So we're just going to click one, two, three, four, and then we're just going to drag them over and drop them in there. And it will just start copying them over. And then we're going to overwrite the files that are already in there. I've actually got the same files in there, so it's perfectly fine. After you've done that, there you go, replace files in the folder. So we're just going to do that now. Soul is now installed. So we're just going to go back to content manager and then we're going to go into custom shaders patch inside settings down to weather effects. And then we're just going to go from a controller script, change it to soul 2.2 and weather script, change it to soul. That means that soul is now installed on your computer. That's all you need. That's how you install soul. The only thing left is to activate the app. So we're just going to go to settings, a set of course are apps. And then you're just going to make sure everything is ticked in here to do with soul. So they'll probably be unticked. So you just want to tick them. Everything to do with soul. Everything is ticked. Make sure everything's ticked. All you want to do now is go back to a set of course uh, video. Make sure that rendering frequency is two, face, two faces per second. The reason we do that is because soul limits it to two faces per second. So after that, we've got everything installed that we need to all the mods. So we've got a set of course we're installed. We've got custom shaders patch installed. We've got soul installed. So to after that, we need to get drift things installed. So you want drift cars, the drift car packs, and then drift tracks. So if we go up to drive now, and then we go to online, and I just go up to here, this is how you find online drift sessions. So I'm just gonna, we get rid of mine. Go to online, go to there, type it in, just type drift, press search. It will now bring up every single drift server that people are drifting in. So if we click on the top one, actually let's click on the second one, Lime Rock. So the second one, and then it comes up on the right hand side and it tells you all about the server. So you can see they're using WDT streetcars and the Lime Rock track. Now you won't have those installed to start with. So what you do is you just go to websites like this. You could just go onto Google and type it in. I've just, I've literally just gone to Google and typed in Lime Rock drift track for a set of Corsa brings up Vosan, you learn the websites that you want to use, the ones you don't want to use, but I'll put a link to this in the description as well if you want to use this one. So we can just go down and then press download and it will just download the file for us. It will take us to Google Drive first. Just want to download that, download any 174 megabytes. It will download the file just down here. It won't take that long. 
I mean, there you go, it's done, it's already downloaded. So after we've done that, all we're gonna do to install that track into a set of Courser is we're just gonna grab that zip file, drag it over to here into Content Manager and then drop it. So you get a little green bit up here. We're just gonna click that, it'll come up. And now we've got Downloads, OTM, Lime Rock, and you're just gonna click Install, successfully installed. It'll actually come up with the bar, but I already had installed. So that means you've now got the track. And then all we're going to do after that is we're going to install some drift cards. Most people use the WDT street cars. That's what you use to start out. But there are loads of drift packs that you can use. You can find them in Discord servers or in websites. But I'm just going to show you how to download the WDT street cards. So we're just going to go onto the website, which is World of Drift Tour. And then we're just going to click on WDT street pack. It'll come down here and we just click download. We'll download the folder just like we just did for the track. It's a zip folder. It's always a folder like that. It's actually 512 megabytes. This one's so just going to take a little bit longer than the other one did, but it should, shouldn't take too long. There you go, it's downloaded. So all we're going to do again, after you've downloaded that, just the same as we did with the track, we're just going to click it, drag it over, and then drop it in there. See the little green arrow? Now we're going to click that. It says download found WDT Street Pack. Press install, and there you go, the bar comes up, and it'll install the WDT Street Pack. That is how you install everything you need to start drifting on a set of Corsa. So after we've done that, the only little thing that I've got for you is if we go to settings and then we go to custom shaders patch and you want to chuck on neck effects, neck FX, neck, neck FX, neck FX. That's what you want to do. Make sure it's active. So when you're in the car and you're driving in first person view, you actually look left and right rather than just chasing straight. And then we want to use uh free camera no we want to use chase camera make sure the chase camera is active chase camera what it means is when you're driving behind the car the car is always static in a set of course or well, we don't want that we want a chase camera so it moves left and right with the car which allows you to drift a lot easier if you're drifting in third person so that's what you do for first person that's what you do for third person that's how you install everything you need to start drifting inside a set of Corsa. If you use a controller or if you use a keyboard and mouse or you use a sim rig like I do, then that's how you do it. If you just want to change, all you do is go to settings, go across to a set of course, so go down to controls. I've got mine set up on my wheel at the moment, so you can see all my wheels set up. 900 degrees, make sure it's 900 degrees. You always want it 900 degrees. Throttle axis, you can just click them and then it will, you can just pull, press your throttle or click on the handbrake and pull your handbrake, so on and so forth. That's how you do that. And then that, is how you do everything that you need to install it for a set of Corsa to start drifting. So if you like that, give me a like and a subscribe and check out my other videos.